Hi everyone, Minky here with the next episode of Minky Mondays. Literally only 10 minutes after the previous episode, although I'm still uploading this a week later. In today's episode, I have received a parcel from a sexualized another friend of mine, whose channel will be linked in the description below. Uh, basically, I bought some old video game sort of stuff from her that she had lying about that she wasn't using, and I had an offered to pay for it and all that, so. I've now bought some stuff of her and his parcel. Obviously, I'm going to blow out the uh, address and whatnot, you know, because, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, let's, have a, let's have a look at what, what goodies she, she has sent. <laughs> Alright, so the first item on our list is the DS, the Nintendo DS, that she has sent me. Uh, let's have a look at this, let's have her open up. And uh, maybe I should have opened this <laughs> during the transition between uh, when I made the cut, but oh well. Uh, you know, it's um, eight here now, so let's uh, right, we'll get on with it. I do have uh, my safety knife as well. Uh, so I can use that to open up, if need be. Right, here's the box. So the box used, looks well used, looks, looks actually kind of nice in a way. You know, in a nostalgic way. You know what I mean? You know, it looks like well used, like it's been well enjoyed at the box. <laughs> to what's that sounds. <laughs> right. Um, Alright, so let's have a look inside. Let's see ya. Uh, the DS. Actually, no, really nice uh, little like cloth material. It's really nice. I imagine it must have like. I imagine that's to help it stay safe as well. Oh, it's like a little bag actually. That's really nice actually. All right, nice. Nice one. Right, so here's the DS. Well, here's the case for the DS, which is really nice. For gamers, you know, that's, uh, so you know it's for me. <laughs> Alright, and inside uh, we have, oh these were annoying, these were, these were turned open, but, you know, well, I mean I think yes games, because I have two of these ju just like it, except one's like a, a light blue and one's black, and they're both like just kind of tedious to uh, open, but this one was alright actually. This one was actually all right to open up, so not too bad. It's, um, I mean, to be fair, I haven't opened up the other two in quite a long time. Not, not that I saw games in them, but hey, it's still something. It's still two games for it to just come around safely, so that's really nice. Uh, what else in here? Uh, here's the the uh, earphones. If I if I if I think so, if I, if I think so, <laughs> yeah, the earphones. Yeah. The earphones, I won't open those up, I'll, I'll keep the packets for now. But very nice. Here's the, um, oh, that's it's actually connected. <laughs> so here's the strap. The DS strap so you can keep it hold on your arm. But yeah, here's the DS. White one. And it's got a little uh, Game Boy slot as well, so you don't have to put in a Game Boy if you don't have one. Uh, put in a Game Boy game if you don't have a game to put in. Uh, which I could probably put a game in a bit, but it's not here nor there now. Uh, no DS game, but most of them are in the actual packaging anyway, because it did come with a few games. Um, yeah, may maybe I'll do like a part two to this video of me loading up the DS and uh, you know, personalising it for myself, because I did mention it as well about getting like a sticker to put on the top of this, like an asexual uh, themed sticker, if you will, you know, for, for the top. So maybe I'll do a part two just for this. Uh, you know, make it look really nice, if you will. <laughs> but not, not that it doesn't look nice. But you know what I mean. You know, like make it look more personal, kind of thing. Uh, we also have the. Uh, I think it's the charger. I believe so. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the charger. Yeah. It's the charger. I was thinking like I was expecting a light grey charger. But now it's a dark grey one because it's the DS Lite. It's like, of course it's a dark grey one. The DS Lite is the weird one because it's, it's the only one that has its own unique charger. 
every other DS either has a new light grey one or the old one has like the Game Boy one, which is really weird. Like why? Well, why does it have a different charger? That's so weird. And we got uh, instruction booklet, leaflet stuff. And, oh, and a spare stylus. Wow, actually, that's really cool. Actually, <laughs> it's got a spare stylus. I was like expecting that to be honest. Wow. <laughs> Got some, uh, <laughs> that little surprise right there for free, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, time for the uh, next uh, bit, if you will. Uh, here's some games that I've got, or oh, that Asexualizer like, sent me. And uh, they're a bit tough to get into, but oh, okay, here we go, we're getting in. We're getting in there. Real nice. Done really well with the packaging, I must say. Because like usually it's like you usually it's like a combination of like either you've got to make it tough so it doesn't like bash around or anything, so it doesn't get like uh, messed up in in delivery, or um, you make it easy to get into but uh, more easy to bash around if you will, uh, in a way if you will, you know. But she's done like a nice middle ground. It's easy to get into, but it doesn't feel like it's, it's been bashed around or anything, you know? It's really good. Alright, so the games in this first little section are... It's probably moved this. I don't know why this is on here. <laughs> uh, the first game is... Wally. -E. Uh, really nice. Well... I, I'm talking like I'm doing my deck profile. <laughs> no, Wally. -E, yeah, this is um, this is I've not actually played Wally. -E. I've not really experienced too much Wally -E personally. Um, but I do want to play it, so I'm actually really, really glad about this one. This one was really nice to get. Uh, so yeah, really, really uh, good uh, right there. Next up, um, we have a uh, Ratatouille. <laughs> I, I'm so used to doing deck profiles, it's so weird, because I did I did one with games before, but that was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Which I'll link that, but that, I, might, I might link it down below, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Ratatouille. I've not I've not actually watched the film, to be honest. I've not, I've, I'm honestly not. So, uh, that might be something, uh, you know, to do in the future. <laughs> uh, contains very mild cartoon violence. <laughs> But it's you. It's uh, you, which I think means everyone is fine to watch it or play it even. But you know, it's uh, a very mild cartoon fan, so you know, it is what it is, I guess. Next up, we have uh, my French coach. I learned to f speak French, so that's something. Um, yeah, it, it'll be nice. It'll be nice for playful, if anything. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I've got a French friend, or well, not a French friend, but I, I don't know if. Uh, I've got someone, not not that I wouldn't find this useful or anything, but like it would be cool if my friend was a bit, little bit French if you will, but I'm not entirely sure, probably not, but still, it's French, it's still pretty cool. Uh, you know what, I've not actually been opening these up, let me have a look inside. Okay, so cool, this one does actually come with the manual as well, and, and the game, well obviously the game, hopefully it comes with the game, but um, it comes with the instruction booklet as well, which is really nice. I love the instruction books of the games because, because like, I don't know, they're just great, man. They're really great. It's, they're they're really great, and like, they don't do them anymore, or bit really. They 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 get you to buy the guides or whatever, you know. It's a bit of a shame, because it's like this this was one of the even if they were basic. Uh, here's Ratatouille, by the way. Uh, even if they were basic, you know, sort of like. Like just telling you the basics or whatever, that was still a nice read, still a nice little bit of um, media, if you will. You know, so it's nice. Um, last time getting these, you know, it's uh, they're really great. Uh, you know, it's like um, you know, it's, I, I do have a few. Unfortunately, a few of mine that did actually, I did actually manage to save as well. So you know, I'll be able to at least show those off at some point as well. I might do like something of a of a read through of them as well in a separate video. Um, okay, so here's the fourth game by the way, um, which is Sight Training. <laughs> the 
realized there was a side training, but there we go. I knew there was brain training, that was the most popular one. Uh, test five different visual abilities, including peripheral and momentary vision, and help strengthen them through varied exercises. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's um, uh, something nice. Uh, and so, and it does come up with the booklet and game as well. Well, I kind of expect the game, you know. So uh, there is that as well. In that part two, I said I was going to do with the DS. I might do, uh, uh, you know, I show, show myself setting the DS up. I might do um, a read through some of these books as well, some of these instruction books or some whatnot. Uh, next up is, uh, by the way, is uh, Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Nice, I did that. Uh, I, I, I have wanted to get into Professor Layton as well, into his game, so uh, you know, that's something that, that's pretty cool as well. So, wow, it's, uh, it's actually some really good buys here. Okay, well, uh, let's hopefully have the instruction booklet. Okay, good, we do. I imagine this one's the most pop, uh, not the most popular, the most uh, important booklet out of at least these five anyway. Not that I don't want the other five, of course, but this one's probably the most pop, most most uh, important because it's uh, this one's like a um, proper game, if you will, if that makes sense. Like it's like a, an actual sort of, well, I guess that's two is a game as well, but you know, it's like it's its own. This is a um, Professor Layton, you know, it's its own actual game kind of thing, you know. And um, yeah, if uh, if you want to see a part part two with the DS, with me setting up the DS in my own way, you know, like putting up the X flag on it, you know, send it up so it looks like like it's mine kind of thing, you know, like putting my nickname in or whatever, like that stuff. Let me know, and I'll definitely do it. And, and as well, tell me about the instruction booklets as well. If you want me to give them a read through, because that would definitely be something I'm inter I'm personally interested in doing that, but. If yeah. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Alright, and here's the third and final little section, if you will, is uh, the other games. Uh, there's actually six here this time around. I think, yeah, six games. Uh, the first one is My Word Coach. So, uh, develop your vocabulary. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was, I, I'm sure it's going to be vocabulary, but then I started reading it and thought, wait, that's not vocabulary, is it? <laughs> Yeah, book as well, or instruction book, booklet. Ubisoft as well, I haven't heard their name in quite a while. Next up, we have brain training, uh, which I mentioned earlier. How old, how old is your brain? It's actually, wow, it's actually got a white yes light as well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> for the art, for the thing we do, for the artwork. Keep your mind sharp with simple daily exercises with more than 10 million users worldwide. Really? Well, how many years today? <laughs> yeah, brain training. Um, I should start playing maybe a little bit. Well, maybe I shouldn't, you know, because uh, I'm not smart. <laughs> you know, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, I didn't look at the book. I didn't show off the book, I should say. But yeah, here's the instruction book. Alright, next on the next four games, they're all sea order. So I can't actually check if it has the book or not, but I presume they do because they're sealed. So I obviously can't, you know, but I'm sure they will. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do an unboxing of these as well, you know, or just sort of unbox them and see about the books and whatnot. But hey, first third game is Nintendo Dogs. I'm waiting on them releasing the ten minx. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be a great game. 10 out of 10? Nah, it'll be 20 out of 10, man. Be that good. But yeah, Nintendo Dogs, uh, it's two players as well, nice. So I have to see about getting, getting a friend to maybe join in with the fun. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, another Professor Layton game uh, The Lost Future. Nice. That sounds like it'd be right up my alley, to be honest. You know, it's a what is it, a time travel game? Mysterious letter sent from the future warns Professor Layton of an imminent threat to London. Could this be linked to the mysterious disappearance of the Prime Minister in the accident at the time machine presentation? Join Professor Layton and Luke in an epic and thrilling journey through time, 
uncover secrets from the professor's past and have him face his toughest opponent yet, himself. Wow, that's uh, certainly a blurb, isn't it? Is blurb the right word? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, maybe I'll figure it out on another game. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's been not, that's not been on op it's not been opened. That's it. <laughs> maybe I do need to play that game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's definitely a uh, definitely interesting that as well. Next up, we have uh, Professor Layton and the Pandora's Box. So wow, some some good games. So, well, like I said, I haven't been to get to Professor Layton. So. <laughs> It's like it's like she read my mind and sexualized it. <laughs> what games I'd wanted. <laughs> it's predicted it's the future. <laughs> my business, yeah, I won't read the blurb for all of them. But yeah, Professor Layton and the Pandora's Box. Well, it's not the Pandora's Box, it's just pun Pandora's Box. But yeah, really nice. Really nice. Um, I'm going to play this as well at some point. Uh, finally, the final game of uh, this uh, and the final thing as well is Mystery Case Files Million Hair um, be, you be the detective spot the clues and find the million hair it's spelled weird but it's, uh, it's a pun it's um oh nice 2 to 4 play nice nice gonna have to see about getting some more friends then filthy rich really <laughs> filthy rich <laughs> Yeah, they actually call someone Filthy Rich in the game. Well, cause that's in the blurb. <laughs> Filthy Rich. Yeah, I don't blame him for being missing with a name like that. <laughs> it's up to you to uncover his rightful hair. I, 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 I can't say it right. Yeah, hair, hair. It's, it's, it's air, right? I, I can't. I, I can never spell it, uh, pronounce it right because I always want to say it how it's spelled. So I can go, yeah, you know, or here, you know, something like that. That's just me. Low plate. Low plate. Heavily hidden objects. Low plate. Anyway, but yeah, that's um. But yeah, that's uh, the last game. Mystery files. Mystery case files. Millionaire. <laughs> Alright, Wow. Uh, I didn't expect it to take this short. Um, I don't know why I was expecting more. Uh, that's maybe that's just me though. Um. But yeah, uh, so yeah, thank you to Asexualize for sending that. Uh, I, like I said, I'll, I'll, her, her channel and her, and her other stuff, because uh, she does a lot of stuff, by the way, online. So, uh, like, all of, all of which I can fit in, that is down below, is especially the links to her channels and stuff, because, you know, she, she is quite busy, you know. So, uh, thank you so much uh, to Asexualize for sending this. You know, it's um, it's honestly been really nice opening it, and I'm really happy I was able to buy it. You know, so it's really not it's it's been fun. It's honestly been fun just doing this video. You know, I mean, it's not even 25 minutes yet in recording for this one video, and uh, you know, it's um, I don't know where I was going with that point, but it's it's not even 25 minutes yet basically. Um, now it is obviously I've edited a bit, so obviously it's not gonna be that long, but. Maybe it will, I don't know, because I had 10 seconds. Anyway, uh, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, if, if if you want a part two, this is to the audience, by the way, not not just asexualized, to her as well, but you know, if uh, if you want a part two to this video, where I, uh, where I, um, where I go, to, where I, um, I personalize the DS, you know, with my nickname and whatever, the, put a stick on the top to make it, you know, like asexual colored, if you will, um, maybe I'll go through, uh, and I'll probably go through some of these instruction books as well. You know, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do. And uh, who knows? I might even LP some of these games as well, actually. So you know, that would be really nice. I might LP some, LP some of them. That would be really cool. Um, you know, uh, that would be, that would certainly be something, especially from a, uh, you know, uh, from DS games as well. I mean, how old are these now? These are almost two decades old. Well, the DS is almost two decades old, um, or ish. I, I don't even know when did the DS release. I know it was like two thousand six, two thousand five, something like that. So it's getting on in there. It's uh, it's got to be at least eighteen years old now, right? And uh, yeah, it's um, so it's a really nice collection. It's a really nice uh, 
you know, your thing. So I'm really happy about this. I'm honestly really happy. I, I'm not the best at expressing it, but I genuinely am. So thank you very much, Sexual Eyes, for sending this, for you know, giving me this sort of opportunity. I'm really, really grateful for it. And um, yeah, uh, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. I don't think that, I think that's it. So uh, remember, tell, let me know uh, what you want to see in terms of um, like a part two or whatever to this. That's going to be a you know a nice um, nice thing. You know, I think I, I think so anyway. All right, well uh, that's it from me. So uh, remember, let me know about. Uh, sorry I'm going too far into it, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but remember to let me know if you want to see that part too. And uh, yeah, that's it, so thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. I hope you have a really minky Monday.